So, um, this past Saturday, I went to see Aladdin, the new Aladdin, the new live action Aladdin, though a lot of it's CGI, obviously it's still animation. Um, went there with um, my, my, my daughter, my youngest daughter, who was really keen. She'd seen all the trailers, hadn't been put off by Blue Genie, anything like that. She was good. Um, now, it's not an exaggeration to say that my uh, expectations, I'm going to see the new uh, film, were on the low side. I mean, this is a remake of a kids' cartoon movie that was only so so, in my opinion, um, directed by someone who hasn't made an enjoyable film in a decade. I mean, Sherlock, okay, maybe. Um, and with a big name star reprising a performance from a much loved and respected comedian, uh, that's probably the only good thing, really good thing about the original. Um, and this star hasn't made a really good movie in uh, two decades. Men in Black, maybe? Um, but anyway, my, my youngest daughter wanted to see the movie. And Daddy had press access, so uh, off we went last weekend. Uh, and that's basically how I got to see um, the best movie I've seen this year. Um, probably last year as well. I mean, yeah, the favourite. Can you go swivel, best thing. You know, just wasn't this good. Um, you know that bit in Ratatouille? where um, the critic eats his first bite of the Ratatouille dish, <sighs> did all that kind of stuff, weird stuff. Um, yeah, well, that. Um, that's how I felt. Um, Go Rich's laziness is gone. Uh, this is a very full, wonderful, clever film. Uh, Will Smith, ridiculously entertaining, engaging. It is... Um, Image is wonderfully manipulated for comic effect. Uh, the blue that you saw in the trailer that's kind of knocked back into lilac and done away with for most of the movie, to be fair. Um, he channels Robbie Williams, yes, but he does make them on his own. He's the fresh genie of blue air. Um, it's modelled on what was before, but clearly him. Um, but no, it's, it's Naomi Scott as Princess Jasmine. I mean, she's from the freshest, most engaging face I've seen on the screen in years. A uh, true cinematic star. Somehow manages to capture a cartoony cuteness of the original drawings with each raised eyebrow or touch of the lips. Uh, give, but also they're giving us a very 21st century Jasmine. Princess Jasmine. The, the original narrative reworked again with the standout new song, Speechless. I think it was very much inspired by Hamilton's Helpless. And similarly being used not only to get genuine chills while listening to it, but being, being used to turn the narrative on a sixpence and head off in a new direction that it totally earns. And so much of that is down to the sincerity in which Scott sells uh, this performance. Um, my niggles could be minor and more structural. I mean, transferring the tale of Aladdin to, from China to Arabia, losing the genie of the ring, dropping any of the British pantomime elaborations that kept the story alive for centuries. I mean, these are all creative decisions that were made by Disney's original version of the movie. Um, there's also, I think there's, probably too much of the sugar sweetness initially in trying to make uh, Mina Masood's uh, Aladdin a, a, a good guy rather than being the uh, street thief, thief he sings about epitomised by retaining the, the justifiable refrain go to eat to live, go to see to eat um, the narrative bends over backwards far more than the cartoon did trying to keep Aladdin on the side of the angels rather than acting for pure self-survival he's sacrificing for others and, in Jas and for Jasmine and then taking the blame but it's a minor early quibble that's kind of superseded by all that comes after. As he has his own great responsibility moments when it comes to trying to twist the narrative in his own directions. And a more rounded character in the uh, Chief of the Guards, which helps to rectify some of those initial concerns. Um, because more than anything, the film works as a whole. We get a sense of how the city works every level. How it keeps going, growing and surviving. With intricate political moves at the top. With the police state keeping everyone in line. But surviving. You know... Everyone's got to eat to live, got to steal to eat. Um, but the place works, just about, and the threat posed by Marwan Kanzari's Jafar is not just to the main cast, but to the city as a whole. And it's here that the live-action succeeds where probably the cartoon failed in creating a living, breathing city, just one with a cave of secrets and treasures across the desert that could bring it all crashing down. Um, the biggest issues of the original Disney version for modern generation are tackled head-on with a new narrative of Jasmine that's... Not only more in keeping with modern narrative sensibilities, but also makes for a much better story too. It just makes more sense this way. Uh, it now seems alien that it could have gone any other direction. Um, this is a film about taking the opportunities that come your way, even if you thought you were in a situation without hope. But unlike so many of these stories we've had, it doesn't also um, condemn those unable to take advantage of that situation. Too many times in such stories, those who don't take the path are blamed for that. Here, the characters know just how lucky they are uh, but also, how whatever the situation is, they're trapped into making the same mistakes. It's a film about luck, 
because you know they say, they say the same people it's a film about um, luck but manages not to push down on those not lucky enough which also makes help, helps make the film far more palatable as well and much more enjoyable as a fantasy um, Biggest Waste probably Alan Tudyk as the parrot Iago given that the character sounds just like an actual parrot um, rather than utilising any of his own speech patterns and quirks present in um, Gilbert Gottfried's original version uh, Tudyk basically did, he did too good a job uh, as the parrot. Um, the magic carpet is basically a replication of the hand-drawn cartoon in CG. It doesn't bring anything new or or replicate the original's personality quite successfully. So, I mean, but these are niggles. Overall, I was blown away. Disney has had a mixed bag in attempting to take its classic hand-drawn cartoons and turn them into live action or CG simulated live action. So they'll be more successful than others. But, but, but I think Aladdin is the most successful, outstripping everything from 101 Dalmatians to Dumbo. The Lion King hasn't got a chance against this uh, creation. Uh, uh, yeah, and I never saw it coming. Especially not from the trailer, which, you know, does a terrible job in selling what makes this film so great. So I hope you don't make my mistake. Or if you do, I hope you've got a similarly bloody-minded family member young enough to help you rectify it. Um, oh, yeah, also, there's no post-credit or mid-credit scenes. Um, the film is the film is the film. It, Disney's Aladdin opens today in the UK. And on Thursday in the USA. Go see it. I really think you should. And whatever anybody else says on the internet, I have no idea what they say. I loved it. And I think you should too.